Anxiously, Scott searched the haggard faces of his exhausted companions. They had failed and the end was near. Suddenly, there was a lull in the shrieking blizzard and oats. His voice, barely a whisper, said, I'm going outside. I may be some time. None moved to stop him as he stumbled through the tent flat to his certain death. Read it again. I like that bit. Another whinging pom bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> whinging pom? He wasn't a whinging pom. Oats was a hero. He sacrificed himself to save his mates. So did I when I asked Gladys Dredgely to the school dance. God, she was ugly. <laughs> Taking Gladys Dredgely to the school dance is not the same as being a polar hero. Why not? She was just as cold. <laughs> and just as furry. Hair all over it. God, she was ugly. God, ugly as a used oyster. <laughs> Knock it off, will you, mate? I'm talking about heroic acts of self-sacrifice. So am I, mate. Gladys Dredgely. Talk about ugly. And huge. You've never, no idea how huge she was. Enormous. The first bloke to scale her should get a knighthood. <laughs> and then have his head red. <laughs> no, it's just not the same, mate. I reckon the only intrepid thing I've done in the eight months we've been down here is stay in the room with you when you take your boots off. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I can hardly stay in the room. I reckon it's those government issue socks. I bet they didn't dag the sheep before they knitted them. <laughs> I, I want to be out there, mate. Just me in the great white south, living in a tent, battling the blizzard with a dog sled, risking death step after step to, to tame the frozen hell for the betterment of mankind. And who's going to fix the dunny? <laughs> yeah, I know. Plumbers aren't allowed to have any fun. Hey, uh, what about that rich Shirley you, uh, you know, when you went to fix a washing machine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't down here, was it? Down here, the, you know, it's the scientists who have all the fun. Look at Nick and Martin out there leerizing around the dog sled, going off for weeks at a time across the ice. But they're mad, aren't they? It's freezing out there, mate. Well, don't you want to get out there and get amongst all that intrepid death cheat and stuff? No, mate, I'm happy sitting in here with a cup of coffee, September issue of Playboy, and listening to the overtime ticking over. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's the difference between you and me. I mean, you're, you know, you're quite happy just sitting here watching the hair grow on the back of your hands. Palm of me hand. <laughs> yeah, there. But me, you know, I get restless. I've got this, this craving for adventure. You know, I've, I've always been a man of action. None of my push bikes had brakes, you know. <laughs> should have been Mawson. You're too short. Ah, uh, trouble is everyone's getting soft around here. About the only hero around the place is that French bloke. You know, the bloke that everyone's waiting for? Gotto. Yeah, Jacques Gotto. Well, you've got to be a hero to try and circumnavigate the Antarctic in a 30-foot yacht. You reckon he's got to be a hero? I reckon he's got to be stupid. He'll never survive. They haven't heard from him for months. The French are all stupid. They eat dandelions, you know. Morning, guys. G'day, Marty. G'day, Marty. What can we do you for? Uh, I'm looking for a volunteer. Oh, sorry, Marty, old mate. You know me, always first cab off the rank, but damn it, me leg just broke. <laughs> you haven't got a broken leg. Oh, no, well, it's not quite broken, though. It's me day off. I see. Well, what about you, Nod? Oh, jeez, Marty, I'd like to help you, but I can feel a day off coming on. Oh, look, trust me, Noddy, this will be just perfect for you. What, does it involve dummies? No, no, in fact, quite the opposite. Not a dunny in sight. What do you mean? Well, I'm going on a Travis for five or six days, and I'm looking for someone to give me a hand. You mean, out there, out there with the dog sleds and the, the sleeping bags in the tent, uh, cheating death face to face with the frozen hell? Yeah, yeah, a bit of that. Uh, not too much, I hope, but, uh, well, you want to be in it? Oh, yeah, do I want to be in it? Yeah. Uh, but he'll only go if you disconnect the brakes on the dog sled. He's a man of action. <laughs> 
up with you, big guy. When do we go? Oh, now, whenever you get your gear together. The oik's approved it. Right. <laughs> well, of course, we'll be facing death at every step, won't be? But it doesn't matter because danger's in me blood. You never went out with Gladys Dredgley. <laughs> it's not dangerous. Oh, well, it is, I suppose, but so is crossing Elizabeth Street in peak hour. What? I mean, if you know what you're doing, you don't get killed. Hey, Marty, can I... Can I get to wear me snow goggles and everything? Oh, you're pathetic. Oh, you're just jealous, big eye. Can I wear them, Marty? Can I wear them? I, I haven't worn them since me mum took me photo on the front lawn. You really are pathetic. Yeah, she sprayed me with sand and snow, you know, to try and make it look more authentic. <laughs> it did look pretty legit, too, except that the bloke next door wouldn't move his speedboat. <laughs> Can I wear a Marty? Can yeah, I please, yeah, Marty? Can right, I wear the uh, Calm down, Rod. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm calm, all right, Marty. I'm calm. Hey. Oh, what, what happens if I fall down the crevasse? You shout, Help! We'll be right together. Right. Uh, what happens if we both fall down the crevasse? You'll be dead together. <laughs> Do you will not? Me will? No! Yes, yes, I did. I left up with the oik. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm really Marty. See you later, big guy. Yeah, right, oh, Noddy. Now, be careful and don't do anything stupid. Yeah, right. I'll look after him, Marty. He's been mate, Yeah, you know. all right. Go on. Yeah, right, oh. Uh, see you later, big guy. Okay? Who knows when we'll meet again? Yeah, see you, Nod. Ta-da, Marty. Right. Oh, Nod. Yeah, what? You see Scott out there? Tell him his tea's getting cold. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, Nod, Nod, Nod. Yeah, Just what, one more what? thing before we go. Yeah? The oik wants you to fix the dunny. Come on, Nick, you're gonna play darts or look out the window? Is being much beauty butler of a blizzard, three days blizzing, is reminding me of school summer camp in Russia. <laughs> you mean winter? No, summer. In Murmansk, it was so cold, we used to water ski on ice. <laughs> and we used to buy our zinc cream in blocks. You're right. It's summer. You've got to have zinc cream in summer, otherwise your nose go red when it's your turn under holiday camp sun lap. <laughs> Murmansk doesn't sound like the fun capital of Russia. <laughs> You're not wrong, mate. Murmansk is this boring place. Murmansk is how you say uh, Melbourne of Russia. Say <laughs> no more. <laughs> Touch of the members, eh? <laughs> mm. It's not so bad in spring when winter melts. Then we can all have fun in famous mod festival. The Mamance Mud Festival. It is Moomba. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Big guy. Hey, you gone, mate? All right. Yeah, happy bunyips to you too, Nick. Oh, geez, it's been blizzing for three days. Hey, I'll bet you not he's wishing he wasn't out there running around like a bonsai morson. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he'd hurry up and get back. Why? Are you worried about it? No, the dunny's blocked again. <laughs> Big guy, Nick, everyone quick, give us a hand. Hard work, Ross, will you? We're in dead strike. Why, what's the matter? Two days ago, the blizzard was really savage. The dogs couldn't even see where they're going, so we, we stopped and pitched ten. And the blizzard just keeps getting worse. Anyway, the sledging rashes, I don't agree with Noddy's guts. Don't look at me, I didn't cook them. <laughs> so anyway, Noddy crawls out of his sleeping bag, grabs a dunny paper, and says, I'm going outside, I may be some time. Ah, oh, he's just playing heroes. That's what that Pom did in the book. So, so, so what happened? Well, that's just it. He never came back. The blizzard's got him. Anything? No, I reckon he's history. Oh, it can't be. Not our Noddy. I mean, who's going to fix the dunny? Noddy won't be needing dunny no more where he's going. I was thinking of us, Nick. Oh. All right, settle down, settle down. Shut up. The name is Rex. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Now settle down. I demand absolute silence when I speak. Well, no. Now, it's been a tragic day in the history of this Antarctic station, and I, for one, am totally grief-stricken. Will someone get me some soup? Yeah, all right, Ferret. The name is... You know what it is, and I'm not going to say it just to give you the satisfaction of playing your silly game. Say what? Rex. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Just remember, this hand is a lethal weapon. Now, where was I? You were grief-stricken. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm so totally grief-stricken that I'll probably break down and sob. I'm so distraught. Where the hell is my soup? Uh, you, Roger? Just a minute, Hugo. Anyway, 
Re my grief. You I... who, Roger? What is the use? Yes, Hugo? Well, I'd just like to have a bit of a talk to the men. All right, if you must, go ahead. <laughs> Silly old fool. Hey. Nothing. Pay attention. Here's the oik. Can I have that soup? You who, men? It's me, your oik. Now, it's a sad day. We've lost that small man again. And this time, I'm afraid it's permanent. You know, of a forever nature. <laughs> After two days of fruitless searching, it is my sad duty to pronounce that small man officially missing, presumed dead. Yeah, and just in case any of you get any smart ideas, I stopped his pay two days ago. Oh, oh what a low act! All right, right, settle down, settle down. The oik hasn't finished. Why do I always get the cold soup? You who men, it's me again. Remember me? Your oik, your friend, your chum, your pal. Yeah, all right, oik, we love you too. Oh, thank you, that round man. <laughs> now, uh, read, read the will. I've read it, and I must reveal uh, that uh, most of it goes to that round man. Uh, a little bit goes to that huge man. Uh, his thongs and his, uh, his slouch hat go to that red man. Thank and, you, Nordy. Uh, and something small uh, and of a personal nature goes to uh, that medicine man. Oh, what a surprise. That's the last thing I expected. Yeah, yeah well, anyway, uh, carry on, I suppose. Just a minute, Hugo. What about that other matter? Oh, I don't think we should pursue that, Roger. We should, and we will. Besides, I already have. Oh, dear. All right, pay attention. This is serious. In the interests of discipline and law in the matter of Noddy's death, it gives me pleasure to announce that one Martin Greville Lightfoot is to be charged with culpable negligence and is now under house arrest. Hey? <laughs> And also to my good friend Big Eye, I leave my entire Phantom comic collection, plus my authentic plastic model of a Wellington bomber, complete with bombs you can fill with talcum powder. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Nod. P.S. Do not pull the string out of the rear gun turret or the starboard wing will fall off. Oh, I must remember that when I'm on a low-level talcum powder run over the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> what about your Phantom ring, Nod? I also leave him my phantom ring for evening wear. The one that glows in the dark, but the batteries are flat. <laughs> Thank you. To enable said big eye to buy new batteries, I also make him sole beneficiary of my life insurance policy. Struth, I wonder what it's worth. It's worth $100,000. Wow, thanks, Nod, I'm rich. Big eye. What, who's that? Big eye, it's me, Noddy. <laughs> Noddy, but how can... If that's you, Noddy, give me a sign. <laughs> My God, it's him. It must be Noddy or it would have sounded taller. <laughs> uh, is, that, uh, is that you up there, Nod? Over. Big eye! Big eye, help me! It's a bit late for that, mate. <laughs> how the... How's the weather up there? It's freezing! Struth, is it? I thought it would have been uh, sort of, you know, like Gosford. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of harp did they give you? Acoustic or electric? Big on, big on. Come and give me a hand! Oh, I'd love to, Nod, but I'm not ready to come and visit you there. <laughs> uh, ask me, ask me Nana. She's a, she's a nice old thing, she is. She'll, she'll help you. Look for a red hat. Uh, with a fox fur biting its tail. <laughs> Are they got beer up there, Nod? Uh, big on! Ah! <laughs> oh. Is that you? Yeah, of course it's me. And you're dead. Ah. You, oh. are, you are? The oik said so. And the oik thinks he's on Dunk Island, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm alive just, I think. But Marty said you stepped outside to do, you know, and you said you'd be gone a little time, but four days is ridiculous. What happened? I dropped the dunny paper in the blizzard and had to chase it for miles. <laughs> they, they ought to get coloured dunny paper down here. You know, it's, it's murder trying to find the white stuff in the snow during a blizzard. Where have you been? <sighs> oh, I couldn't find the tent. Gee, Marty must be worried. Worried? He's terrified. 
They've all but charged him with your murder. Yeah, well, you know, I, I found a couple of the, the huts that the Norwegian had, you know, some of his old huts, and I shacked up there for a, for a couple of days. I, I bet you've never eaten a 47-year-old roll mop. <laughs> Have you got one? Oh, you're disgusting. Hey, hang on. You can't be alive. You've got to stay dead for a while so I can be rich. Eh? You can be rich? Well, so we can be rich. Now, look, I'll split your insurance policy with you 50-50, but you've got to just stay out of sight for a while. Well, how long? Seven months. Now, get in the cupboard. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not getting in a cupboard for seven you months. You want to fix another dunny? No. Well, get in the cupboard. Oh, no, big guy. Look, can't someone say you have the long glass. Hello, big guy. Hello, Noddy. Van Gogh's one great idea. Klebonsk! Great galloping goanna's gonads! It's Noddy! You are alive! No, I'm dead. <clears throat> Right, Nick. How about ten percent? Don, you got deal. <laughs> Do you know what you just got ten percent off? Who cares? Ten percent of something for nothing is better than poke in the eye with a burnt wombat. <laughs> I am training to be capitalist. Hey, big guy. Naughty! Naughty, <laughs> you're alive! Thank God! Uh, no, he's not. He is. How are you, Naughty? I'm dead. Hey? Eh? All right. Ten percent, and that's our final offer, but we will go to twenty if you'll just shut up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Insurance money. Take it. It's a good deal. No, 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 no. You can keep your money. Look, I'm charged with losing you, but now that you're back, I'm going to have my revenge on the ferret. Hey, yeah, you mean? Well, well you can stay dead, but uh, you remember that lone French yachtsman? Jacques Godot? Yeah, yeah, him. Well, they can all stop waiting for Godot, mate. He's arriving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there I am, marooned, totally alone on this ice floe. Just me and the dog sled. Do you get the picture? Are you receiving me, that huge man? Loud and clear, Oik. Good. Now, uh, where was I? Marooned on an ice floe. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Who told you that? You did. <laughs> well, who am I to argue with me? It must be true. Well? So what happened? I don't know. It's gone. Blank. Still, uh, did, did I ever tell you the story about... Now, this will really amaze you. You won't believe a man, a human being like me, could live through this. Now, what happened was... Uh, it's gone. <laughs> but, but Hugo Oik, you must be remembering... Can't you be remembering anything? Of course I can, that red man. Uh, what is your name? Uh, what's his name, Mervyn? Uh, Martin. Martin, of course it is. How are you, Martin? <laughs> I found him! The man that was be searching for for months and I found him! Who did you find? Jacques Godot, the famous French lone yachtsman. I found him staggering across the sea ice just in time. Now everyone, wait, make him welcome. Come in, Jacques. Hey, yeah, Jacques! Hey, hello, 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 hello. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. I am, um, how you say, very happy to be Citroën, your Eiffel Tower. You know, how you say, uh, happy to be here at your Antarctic station. <laughs> I saved his life, you know. Also, I mean, I mean, shout the gold, the Cluso, the Cointreau. Oui, oui. Just down the hall, mate. You can't miss it. <laughs> Will you stop it? Have you no sense of decorum? This man is rich and he owes his life to me. His family invented the beret. They've got the biggest beret plantation in the Bordeaux. Please, uh, excuse uh, my uh, yobbo uh, friends, uh, Jacques. Uh, they have no uh, breeding, eh? Uh, hey, I just heard that the ferret found... <gasps> my God, who's this? Oh, 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 la, 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 la plume de ma tante est enchantée. Mm. Oh, what a fascinating accent. Mm. It is, how you say, a mixture of French, Francaise and primitive desire. <laughs> mm, what a beautiful pair of Moulin Rouges you have. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just love French accents. Ah, say the word, my darling, and I get you one. Uh, Le wholesale. Oh, <laughs> strange little man. Look, you keep away from him, he's mine. And he's given me a reward for saving his life. <laughs> what did he give you? <laughs> eat your heart out. Listen to this. I am now the proud owner of a brand new 15th century French chateau fully stocked with nymphomaniacs and beer. Ah, no! No, 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 it cannot be done. Ah, such a distel, the cordon bleu. No, 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 I forget. Why not? Uh, uh, you see, uh, it is a Godot family tradition dating back to the time we planted the first beret vine. 
In order to give gift, we must give freedom to all the prisoners in the village, especially the tall ones. Damn, we haven't got... Sir, 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 sir. Oh, yes, we have. We're Martin over there. I'll set him free. I'll tear up the charges, I promise. Okay. The chateau is yours. <laughs> now I'm a French count. I can see it now. Le Chateau du Ferret. Her name is Rex. Le Woof, Le Woof. Just a minute, settle down, settle down. I've just received the gravest of disturbing news. Someone's pinched the ferret's underwear collection again. <laughs> stop it, stop it. It says here, famous French lone navigator, Jacques Godot, today anchored at McMurdo, American Antarctic Station. Positively identified. That means this man is a fake frog. Reveal yourself, that man. Got you at last, Ferret. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The shopping guide is coming up next. Tonight at 7.30 on Home Improvement, Tim's reaction to his boss's death amazes everyone, including Tim. Then at 8, Chris O'Donnell hosts our premiere special, Riddle Me This, Why Is Batman Forever? A tantalizing look at the making of this year's most anticipated movie blockbuster. Enjoy Home Improvement and Riddle Me This. Why is Batman Forever from 7.30 tonight? Sit